This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by Audible. Let's say you accidentally deleted a file or you forgot to back it up before you formatted that drive. All hope is not lost. Okay, if you did a mad 35 pass, you know, DOD wipe on that drive, mm -hmm. pretty much all hope is lost. But if you accidentally just deleted a file, you should check out uh, pureform.com. They make uh, CCleaner and other applications, but they make a really cool application called Recover. It is stupid easy to use. I suggest you install it before you lose any files. That way you can run it without, you know, installing over the file you accidentally erase. Because overwriting is the big challenge. Accidentally erase a file, stop. Stop using your computer. Take the hard, you know, you could download and install the portable version of, of Recover on a USB thumb drive. It won't leave any footprint on your PC. Or you could remove the drive from your laptop, your desktop, connect it to another Windows machine. That's a very good alternative to having Recover installed. And if the machine won't boot, that's a good way to throw Recover at a drive to recover lost files. It's really easy to use. You launch Recover and you have this, the Recover wizard. You don't have to go into the wizard, but it's kind of nice. You can search for specific files. Like let's say all I want is pictures or all I want is emails. You go to emails just as Thunderbird, Outlook Express, and Windows Mail. Uh, photos is just common files. So basically, let's say we're going to look for all five. <laughs> Sorry, I just got to stop and be like, yo, I, I love Reddit. I just want to say that right now. Um. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a daily tip that you'll be seeing coming up soon on, on a, a Reddit waller. It changes, the, it changes the background to uh, Reddit subreddits that you've you've specified. I like it. Yeah, it's fun. So let's say I pick. Uh, I'm in the Recover Wizard. I pick pictures. I go to the next, and it, whoops, it will let me choose. So for example, if I want to choose on the 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 the, the USB card I've plugged into here, or in my documents, or let's say I want to search the entire C drive, I hit next. Deep scan is something you put on. Um, if you can't find it the first time you do a pass, but it's very, very fast. This is a relatively small drive, and it's an SSD drive, but uh, recover first scans for deleted files, and these are the files uh, it could find. The red dots, if you look to the, uh, oops, Oh, it's funny, it's a different view that I'm used to. So, so let me go back to the advanced mode. The red dots means uh, it's already been overwritten by another file. Yellow is a very poor. Green is excellent because it says all of the clusters are clear. Obviously, we haven't lost anything on this particular notebook, but it's pretty cool. Um, there's a preview window in the advanced mode. Um, it's really great for fast idea JPEG files if you're looking for pictures on a, on a thumb drive or something. Um, if it finds what you're looking for, you just tick the box, hit recover, and do us a favor, write it to another drive, whether it's an external drive or USB thumb drive. If it doesn't find your file, you can try a deep scan, which will take an hour or more. Go into advanced and options, or actually, let me show you right here. Go into uh, options, once you're in the advanced mode, and go into actions and hit deep scan. And uh, you can also do scan for non-deleted files. That's really, really cool. Um, because basically, if you, if you scan for non-deleted files, it'll find everything on your computer. So normally you leave that off. If you think it might still be losing around there, you can hit for scan non-deleted files. Uh, it can restore your folder structure if you check that box. It's really cool. It's regularly updated. They just did a new update very, very recently. Um, they keep it well maintained. It runs on Microsoft Windows 8, 7, Vista, XP, 2000. There's 32-bit or 64-bit versions. And if you would like tech support, if you go up to the Recover page, you can actually pay for Recover Professional which will give you somebody to call if all heck breaks loose. Uh, and that's priority technical support for 25 bucks. And by the way, if they saved your bacon, do yourself a favor or do them a favor, and you can still donate to Pureform to help keep Recuva free. I've always said Recuva. Recuva. I don't know why. I just say Recuva. I like it too. Yeah. Recuva. Recuva. I don't know. I feel Pureform. like someone told me to com. say it that way, but it's fine. So yeah, cautionary <laughs> tale, back up your files before you are SOL. <laughs> we have lots more to come, but first, it is time to thank one of our sponsors. Audible.com. They're the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. It's amazing. Over 100,000 titles to choose from. You get to download them to your iPod or your MP3 player. Play them back anywhere, anytime. Perfect for road trips, long airplane flights. You get to choose from books in every genre. Science fiction, thrillers, drama, comedy, business, history, and more. I've been listening to Neil Stevenson's The Baroque Cycle. It's essentially kind of a sci-fi author doing the history of banking and science, their origins, and the personalities that basically created the modern world we live in. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash techsell. Get yourself a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. And do us a favor, check out Audible's newly designed iPad app as well. Visit audiblepodcast.com slash techzilla. Get yourself a free audiobook download today. It's good stuff, people. Check it out.